and welcome to UCC's annual multi show! My name is Matthew. And my name is Carolyn. And we will be your MCs for tonight. First off, we would like to thank you all for coming here today as this is our first in person event since COVID-19 first broke out. So you guys being here really means a lot to us because this has always been a really unifying event for Laurier. And we also just really wanted to recognize Laurier's amazing attitude towards its diverse student body. Our luncheon this year was a great success and we ended up raising over $2,200! Hearing throughout the show would be much appreciated as our teams have worked hard throughout the year to prepare all these performances for us. And tonight they have put together a great array of dances and songs that will showcase the amazing diverse community we have here in Laurier. However, having said all of that, we'd like to set a few rules so that we can all remain respectful throughout these performances and appreciate the effort of our peers. Please try to save your applause for the end of each performance. Excessive cheering will be a distraction for both the audience and the performers. Also remember to remain quiet during the performances. Please refrain from talking to those around you. Also, please no flash photography during the performances as we already, we already have someone who will be recording the show. All right, now with that all out of the way, let's get into the performances! <laughs> Na dito na si Kiko, si Francis Magalona Na dito na si Glock Nine, wala siyang apelido Magpapagsapan dito, e one, two, three, go! Na dito na si Chito, si Chito Miranda Na dito na si Kiko Madasha Abelino, Mamma Sapatino, Mamma Sapatino, Mamma Sapatino, Thank you. 
from Team Philippines. But before getting into that, I think we should briefly talk about where we ended up donating our luncheon funds to. Wouldn't you agree, Carolyn? Yeah! So, this year we ended up donating our earnings from the luncheon to Water First, a charity that helps indigenous communities resolve water challenges. Sustainable access to safe, clean water for in First Nation communities is a press pressing issue in Canada, as drinking water challenges are complex and specific to each community. Local concerns may be around infrastructure for some communities, while others have challenges with source water contamination. So Water First aims to help mitigate these issues and does so through working with Indigenous youth and young adults, which allows them to address the issue with the people who are directly involved. Thus, our funds go directly towards those who need them, which is why we really appreciate the support UCC's received this year from all of you. Alright, now let's get back into the show. Please welcome to the stage Team Philippines dance crew who will be performing a traditional Philippine folk dance known as Tanikali. Please give it up for Team Philippines! who have put together an insightful video which will give us all a glimpse into the multifaceted nature of Indian culture. Hey guys, it's Ruan, your captain of Team India, and today, instead of doing a dance for the multi-show, we've decided to present a video about our culture. We hope you enjoy. Yeah! Oh yeah. man, what the hell was that for, Parth? Oh, hey Ruan, how you doing, man? I'm great. Yo, we have a video to shoot. What are you doing? Oh shit, bro. I completely forgot about that. Wait, what's that baseball bat? What's cricket? So cricket is a bat and ball game played in a 22 meter field. Uh, it's uh, played with a batting side and a bowling side. The uh, point of the batting side is to attack and uh, gain points while the bowling side defends. Uh, the way the batting side uh, gets points uh, is by hitting the ball and in a way defending their wicket. Uh, the uh, person who hits the ball uh, will just run back and forth counting how many runs they get. The bowler can either get the batsman out by knocking over the wickets or by uh, catching the ball after it's been hit. 
Yo, uh, you want to try some cricket? Right? Yeah. Uh, how, how about you bowl? I know since this is your first time, uh, I don't really have time to explain it to you since this is a video. Uh, so you're going to throw it to me underhanded. Right? Okay, okay. Uh, yo, West Indies, stop the back. So, you know, that wasn't the best shot, right? But you know who can play cricket really well? Who? Sachin Tendulkar. Oh. The greatest cricket player of all time. So who is Sachin Tendulkar? Sachin Tendulkar is the greatest cricket player of all time. He has the most runs um, in ODA and test runs in history uh, with 15,000 and 18,000 respectively. So, you know, uh, India just didn't have the best cricket players of all time. We also had some of the best sprinters of all time. I bet you didn't know about Milka Singh, otherwise known as the Flying Sikh. Uh, so Milka Singh actually won gold in the Commonwealth Games along with the Asian Games. Uh, he held the uh, world record uh, for the national record in India uh, for the 400 meter race for 40 years. So with these two uh, dominant sports, uh, with sprinting and cricket in India, we want to introduce a brand new sport. Cricket sprint. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Bro, you good? That looks pretty brutal. I don't know, man. Right, we definitely ain't doing that again. Well, you know, India wasn't always the... India wasn't always the peace-loving country we know it as now. A long time ago, we had to fight for our independence, right? Here, we turn to uh, Indian freedom fighters like Bhagat Singh and Gandhi. You all know about Gandhi, but I bet you didn't know about Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh was a 23-year-old martyr who died fighting for India's rights. After his death, he pushed for a greater focus on India's independence and militants in Punjab. Okay, so another important aspect of Indian culture is the fashion. Yeah. So obviously, one of the more popular ones is the sari. Mm -hmm. So it has a blouse, a skirt, and essentially this long fabric that you kind of drape around your body. And that's legit just the outfit, like that's the dress. It's really complicated to like wear. You definitely need yeah. someone to help you out because it just is really time consuming or maybe I just don't know how to do it. So <laughs> Nah, it's me too. No, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Um, another big portion of the Indian fashion is also Jenya Jordi. Yeah, and we're Gujarati, so you already know this is, this this hits close to home. This you know what I'm saying? Our thing, our yeah. thing. Yeah. So basically, Jenya Jordi's are like a blouse, like we said in saris, mm -hmm. but you have a lenga, which is much more poofier and bigger yeah. than you would have in a sari. Yeah. And so we wear it for different types of functions, but mainly, for a Gujarati event known as Garba! Garba! Yeah. <laughs> so it's, Garba is essentially a folk dance mm -hmm. and we do it like every like around November. Yeah, November, for, September, yeah, around that time. For Navratri and Diwali, mm -hmm. so it's a really exciting event. That's it for the fashion for today! Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> okay, so maybe you went to an Indian wedding, maybe not, but Another like important part of an Indian wedding is the food. So just like any other big event, you have your three courses. You have your appetizer, your main course, and your dessert. And I'm gonna start us off with the appetizer. Okay, so one of the most iconic appetizers is the samosa. So you probably had it at the UCC luncheon, but if not, it's basically a fried pastry. It's stuffed with potatoes and veggies, and it's really good, so go get some for yourself. Okay. So another Indian appetizer is the pakora and there are different types of pakora. There is cheese pakoras and you can eat it with this different types of sauces such as chutney which is this green sauce and it's spicy so it's a really nice taste and there's also uh, potato pakoras which also have different types of veggies in it as well. Okay so now moving on to the Indian sweets and desserts. Basically, we have one very big main dish. You guys might know what the name is, starts with a G, known as Gulab Jamun. Many of you have probably tried it at the UCC luncheon for Team India as well. It's like a Timbit, Tim Hortons Timbit, but with brown syrup on top, and it's just very delicious and sweet and immaculate. <laughs> okay, now on to the Ladoos. So as you guys know, ladus are a very big thing in the Indian culture. They can come in various different colors. We also have kaju katris and siro and lapsi. There's so much to this Indian culture that many people do not know of, especially having to do with the desserts. So go out and try it out at Indian restaurant today. <laughs> yeah, they really touched on everything, ranging from sports to clothing to even their history. 
I agree. It was quite fascinating to learn about. Now, moving on, we'll be shifting our focus to Team Africa, who have put together a brilliant dance performance using a collection of different kinds of African music. Everyone, get ready for Team Africa! Their choice of music on top of their dancers is really good as well. 
But you know where else you can find some great music and dancers? Pakistan. Everyone, let's give it up for Team Pakistan!
Next, we have Team Thummel, who have fused contemporary and traditional styles of Thummel dance to create a wonderful performance for all of us. Please welcome to the stage, Team Thummel!
everything flow together so well? I fully agree. That's the home team right there. But, oh, Caroline, wait, that reminds me. Uh, what's your home team again? Well, since I'm Chinese, my home team would be Team East Asia. Oh, right, Team East Asia. Um, where are they anyway? Should I be performing soon? Ah, oh, well, um, unfortunately, uh, because of some scheduling issues they ran into with some of their members, they couldn't complete the video that they were planning. Ah, that's unfortunate. Wish we could have gotten something from them. Yeah, well, to be honest, that may have been for the best. Um, let's just say that the contents of their video were uh, definitely questionable, and maybe not that PC, but that's okay. Uh, we're not playing. Uh, all right. Uh, moving on, we have a member of Team Hispanic who will be showing off both his singing and guitar playing abilities. Guys, let's give it up for Team Hispanics, Daniel! here at Laurier. We've seen a variety of dance and music styles from all over the world. But Carolyn, have you noticed how amazing the outfits have been thus far? I was just about to comment about that! While the choreography and the songs have been super informative about each team's culture, I think that the clothing just really tied everything together. Absolutely. After all, apparel is just as important to culture as dance and music. And that's why Team Bangladesh will be turning this stage into its very own catwalk and will be showing off Bangladeshi culture with a stunning fashion show. Let's give them a warm Facebook, Ocala, 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 Ocala,
I agree, not just them though. All the teams did a great job showing off their talents and culture. And with that, UCC's first live multi-show in three years has finally come to an end. But before everyone leaves for the night, we'd like to take a moment to individually thank all those who made this show possible. Thank you to the teams and their executives for planning so much and for working so hard to make it all happen. Some people have been planning their performances since February, so thank you for your effort. We'd also like to thank Peter Aldrin for the time that you spent helping us with the scheduling, organization, and community of plans and items throughout the year. Thank you to Ms. Mootsy for giving us your space and for guiding our backstage crew. And of course, thank you to the backstage crew for your work behind the scenes. Thank you, Ms. Nickel, for letting us use the auditorium to prepare for the show today. And thank you to Ms. Maharaj for also taking time out of your busy schedule to supervise us for the sponsor. Can we get one final round of applause for all the performers, executives, and staff?